Well, that was the first snowfall. And I got basically one plant that's still under cover and doing well. And a little bit of beet right there. Planted some garlic in here with it. We'll see how it does. This is really tasty though, some uh, French sorrel. It's really lemony in the summer, but now that it's cold, especially even under this cold frame, it's really almost sweet, it's delicious. But everything else is mostly died back. Swiss chards I left left in the ground to let the roots rot, but they didn't want to die because of this cold, this warm weather we've been having up until now. Everything's dormant. Good year. Not the best year, but next year would be better. The back bed is uh, also you know, obviously covered in snow, but we'll see if these guys make it through in the ground. It's the first year they've been in the ground. I've had them in pots for two years. So they had a whole summer to grow in. Hopefully they uh, stick it through. Mm, rosemary ice. <laughs> we'll see. I had a couple apple seeds planted in a container. And I surrounded them with leaves and left them outside. I don't know if that'll sprout them. Maybe they'll sprout next year. We'll see. I'm also trying to root some uh, fig cuttings. I've seen people do it in moss. So I grabbed some moss before the snow fell. And I've got three three different varieties from my neighborhood that I've, I'm trying three different ways. This guy was a little long and I didn't feel like cutting him. So I left him stick out a little bit. That's the top piece. This one is the one from my neighbors that's uh, much bigger, but we'll see. It's much thicker than the rest. And this one I wrapped in newspaper and put a little bit of moss in there to keep that humidity. And then this guy, I'm letting sit in just regular water. We'll see if any of these root. Oh, and I also have one or two buried out there under the snow at the moment. We'll see. I'm just experimenting. I'm not too worried about it. Hopefully we'll have figs as well.